All right, guys, welcome back to the Jim Mazzucchi YouTube channel, the coolest YouTube channel on YouTube. Um, so tonight is going to be the second installment in the how to wire your AE86 challenge, okay? Um, last episode, I mocked up my um, little relay, fuse panel, electrical panel, whatever you want to call it. Got this all laid out and started mounting some things. Um, off of camera, what I did is I sort of built this Haltech uh, relay box here. Um, so I just got some relays for my Innovate, my wideband sensor, my uh, fan, my headlights, and then my taillights. And then I just wired that up how they need to be. And those wires are being fed underneath and the power lines are coming out over here. Run to this junction box right here, this junction uh, block here. Um, got my Haltech mounted, and then all these wires are coming through, joining underneath, coming across, and exiting over here, and those will be fed where they need to go. Um, another thing that I was talking about last time was I was planning on running all my accessory circuits off of this accessory relay that would run to this fuse block here. Um, little change of uh, ideas here. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be running about three circuits off this box. I'm going to be running my wiper, my dash, my turn signals, and then maybe cigarette lighter and clock. I'm not too sure yet. It's kind of like an afterthought, you know. Um, but those are going to be run off this relay. And then I started thinking about it and I started looking at like the OEM diagram more. And what I'm going to end up doing is I'm just running one power line off this junction block here, and then that's gonna be fed to another um, fuse block here. And then off that fuse block, it's just gonna be the brake switch, the hazard horn, and then the retractor relays for the headlights. The reason I'm doing that is because, you know, when your car is fully off, you can still sit in it and then hit the brake and it'll turn on the brake lights. Same thing with the hazards, like you wanna be able to pull over and have your car fully off and still be able to turn your hazard so doing that um, just you know just to keep it more stockish but that's really the only change from what uh, I said in the last video everything else just kind of built it up how it's supposed to be zip tied some stuff in place got it all right and got it all tight okay all right guys so I think I figured out how I'm gonna mount this relay panel um, what I've kind of noticed um, after removing the glove box is that I have lots of spots to thread the bolt into. Um, if you just look, um, I got some threads here, got some threads here. So I'm going to run a piece of bar stock across those two bolts there. And there's two threads there. Um, this is just U-shaped bar stock and it's uh, a little bit more rigid than flat stock aluminum because it's simply because of the shape. So I'm using that to go across. Hopefully it adds some sort of rigidity and give it a nice sturdy place to be. And then up top I have two, two studs that are here. And then I'm gonna run just two pieces of flat aluminum. Just kind of make little hangers for it, just to kind of give some upward uh, force on it, you know, just so it's not just hanging on one spot because then it might flop back and forth. So I feel like I can just keep it stabilized up on the top. You know what I'm saying. All right, so basically it's pretty simple from there. I'm just gonna line this up, mark where the holes need to be drilled, mount it, and then we'll start running the wires to where they need to go. Start grouping them together, and then uh, getting it right, getting it tight. So.
Alright guys, so I got my relay panel all mounted up. It's looking pretty good. Um, I just put that bar across the center here, uh, mounted it up with two bolts, holding it up on both sides, and then I got some bar stock that I just bent to like an S shape, and then just mounted it to a stock location up here. Um, it holds it in pretty nice, all sturdy. I don't think it's going to be going anywhere. Um, next, I'm going to be running all the wires to the engine bay. Um, I already started running a few of my injectors in my ignition coils, but Haltech labels everything like your um, digital pulse outputs, your air temp, you know, your trigger, fuel pump. They have everything labeled already. So at this point, it's just a matter of figuring out where they need to go, finding the wire, and then just running it to it. So I'm going to start grouping everything together, laying it down where it needs to go, and then I'll know kind of how I can thin down the loom and just kind of group things together so it's just not crazy. So, so I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. Um, it's been fun. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, next, next, I think we're just going to start soldering. Um, I'm going to group things off camera just because it's kind of boring. So next time, I'm going to see you guys. When you guys see me, I'll be soldering everything together and then yeah, getting it started, I guess. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Be sure to um, look out for the next one. So, shouts out.